Hello again, Tom from everystepcalculus.com, everystepphysics.com. Um, a problem in calculus three, unit vector of P and Q points. Let's do it. Index eight to get to my menu. Um, we're gonna scroll up to get to the use, which is the unit vector of P and Q. There we go. It's loading when it says busy, busy on the, but once after it's loaded, then it becomes quick after that. Uh, alpha to put anything into these entry lines here. I'm going to put the P point, alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha minus 3, alpha minus 4, alpha minus 5, and alpha 6. I always show you what you've entered. You can change it if you want. I say it's okay. We're going to choose number 6 here, unit vector PQ. Here's the formula, Q minus P over the uh, magnitude or length of PQ. And Q minus P is equal to this. Here's the way you do it. And this is uh, QA minus PA. This is QB minus PB, etc. Here's the answer right here. Minus and minus signs will screw you up in most cases for getting these correct figures. That's the reason I program. So we have Q minus P up here, and we have the, and we use those same figures for the square root squares in here, which is the square root of the squares, which is the definition of magnitude or length. And that boils down to these. And then the actual value is square root of 155 with the Q minus A on top or a numerator. And so minus 5 times the denominator, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, approximately 0 0.402, et cetera. There's the answer in a vector form. Unit vector is equal to this. Uh, go to my site, subscribe to get more videos that I make and learn more about calculus. Have a good one.